It is first things first in week two of the high school football season for the Orion Chargers and the Alban Pioneers. It is believed to be the first ever varsity football matchup between those two schools. And of course that adds many elements, including country versus city school. But really for the players and coaches, that really doesn't factor into this game. It should be a fun game for the, for the community out there and uh, you know, yeah, we, we, to be honest, I, I don't get hung up in that. I, we, I'm just there to play a football game. So mm -hmm. that's kind of a, 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 you know, we just need to to, to go out there and, and keep progressing as a football team. So, um, you know, the atmosphere and everything will be nice. You know, that, that, that's good and positive stuff for, for high school football. But uh, uh, I guess that's the downer of being a coach. You need to focus on, uh, 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 on everything that's going on in the field, and uh, you can't really get, uh, uh, can't really soak in what's going on around you. Uh, to be honest, though, I mean, we're, we're, this is week two for us, so we're, we're just trying to get better as a football team. So. Uh, we're really not building this up, you know, more than it is. It's it's just really uh, uh, our second game, and we just need to keep trying to get better as a football team. And you know, they'll they'll uh, they'll push us to get better. Uh, they, they you know they got a lot of weapons and uh, some good football players, a good program. Uh, but we just need to keep progressing as a football pro as a football team, and and they'll they'll help us get. Uh, uh, and keep advancing that way. I think they're a little bit more down to earth about it than probably what we are. I mean, we have to we have to look at it that way. This is a big deal to us. I mean, if we if we can go out and play really well against a quality quality uh, team like Allman is and a, a state recognized team as Allman is, it is a great great thing for our program. It's it's almost like the next step for our program to go out there and play somebody. If we if we want to contend for a state title, and that's our it's our aspirations all the way around. We got to play competition like this, so um, we're excited about that opportunity. We're really excited about playing too, and. Uh, you know, just big school, little school, you know, we're really pumped up for it. You know, we've been excited all since we've heard about it. Mm -hmm. How big can it be for your program to be able to compete with a, a school from the Big Six? You know, I mean, we all know you guys play great football, and it's really exciting football, too, your, your brand of offense especially. Uh, yeah, it'll be really great for us. It'll show people in the Quad Cities that we are, you know, being a small school, it doesn't matter. You know, we can play football just with them. You know, they're 17 and 18-year-olds just like we are. You know, we strap on the same pads every day and go through practice and, you know, do the same thing, get prepared for each game each week. Uh, we're just taking full advantage of it. And making the current opportunities the most we can out of it. So mm -hmm. it's, it's gonna be a great experience. Mm -hmm. Tell me, I mean, coming out of last week, I mean, you got a decisive win against a, a team that uh, kind of had pretty high expectations, shut them out and everything. And um, just talk about how, how do you think you'll grow from week one? Because everybody says from week one to week two, there's there's a, there's a lot of opportunity to get better. You got tape to look at, that kind of stuff. Yeah, we always, uh, after the first game, always work out those little kinks and just keep improving from it and just keep getting better and better. There are lots of fun things to compare and contrast between the Chargers and the Pioneers, but mostly contrast, especially on offense. Now the Pioneers would be content to keep the ball between the tackles as long as they keep moving the sticks. As for the Chargers, they want to spread the field from sideline to sideline, and certainly that will keep a defense guessing. And they are contrasting styles. I mean, they like to they like to slow it down where we like to play fast paced. Um, it's going to be it's going to be a great night, I think, of football. What makes them go as you've broken down their tape, I guess? Um, you know, really, they're solid defense. I think that's the other contrasting style. I mean, we're we're very high powered on offense. Um, you know, our defense can be suspect at times. I think it'll be a lot improved from what was week one. But they, they're they're much uh, attacking defense, and and their de and their offense really slows it down. Um, you know, they're going to keep it out of our hands. Where where we like to, you know, we like to score in a hurry. Hopefully, we can because it sounds like we're not going to have the ball very much. Well, you guys are coming off a crazy, entertaining game too. I mean, uh, what have you picked apart about your guys? And everybody does always say between week one and week two, uh, there's a lot of a lot of questions answered. I, I think you know the one thing that we look at going in, we want to improve. That's you know, obviously, like you just said, we want to improve from week one to week two and, and make that and make that jump. We need to do some fundamental things. Great. I mean, we we've got all the flashes and all, all the lights and bells going with this with this team, but we got to do. The things that are going to get us to the postseason. We got to tackle. We got to block. We got to do the fundamentals, which you know that's what Allman does really, really well. I mean, they don't have mm. to be as flashy as us or, or choose not to be, I guess. Um, but they do do things the right way, and, and we got to get a little bit more of that involved in our game. As you uh, grow your team, how important is it to see uh, diversity in, in, the, in the opposition too? Because I mean, hopefully you're going to be playing in November, and you're probably going to see teams that like to do that. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, you know, once we get into the conference play, it's you know, uh, it's you know, slug it out football. So, so in the preseason here, in the last week, we, you know, um, 
uh, LaSalle Peru ran a lot of spread and, and most, you know, Warren's going to be 50-50. Sometimes they, they got it uh, in tight and, and run the ball. Sometimes they spread it out. So uh, that'll be a good test for us. And then, um, so, you know, in your, in your, in your non-conference games, you know, you want to be able to uh, see a lot of different looks and, and certainly this will be one of them. They have a fast paced offense. Uh, we've been preparing for that this week in practice. So and they just like to throw a ball around. They, they all mix it out a lot and they'll, you'll never know what they're coming at with you. It could go either way, you know. It really just depends on the defensive end of the ball. You know, that's what's going to say who's going to win this game or not. You know, we're both going to score, obviously, but defense is definitely going to win this game. I think it should be special on both ends. I, I really want, you know, all of them to come here and, and say, man, you know, what a great environment Orion has. I mean, we have a lot to offer out here. So I, I want them going away thinking, hey, that was a great pace to play, you know, and, and their kids enjoying the time they had out here. You know, whatever the outcome might be. I mean, uh, you know, obviously we're both preparing to win. I, I know that you know they, they will not leave any stone unturned when it comes to us, and, and we're doing the same thing. I, I just really look forward to the opportunity. I think, I think it's good for, and more for our program than theirs, but it's going to be a great thing. Mm -hmm.